This is going to be the first ever Chi Life unboxing video. I wonder what it could be. So as you know, Chi Life is a relatively new vlog channel about things relating to Chi and Qi Gong and uh, still experimenting with different kinds of videos and things like that. And one thing that lots of YouTube channels do is they have unboxing videos of when they have something new and they show people what it's like in case they're interested as well. So I've been ordering a few things lately that do relate to Qigong and uh, I thought I'd give it a try, see what you think. Um, so what could it be? What could this thing that I've ordered be that has to do with Qigong? Of course, if you've already um, read the title of the video, you probably know. But this is what I have here. And I'm going to open it now. Well, that was quite well taped up, but here is the big reveal. So you might be wondering, what does this have to do with Qi Gong? Well, Qi is quite a broad concept. It's living energy, and there's lots of different ways you can define it, lots of different ways people do define it, and um, which, which is all fine because there's, there's different aspects of it you can look at, but very difficult to measure. And um, this is maybe one way you can do a little bit of Qi measurement. Now, there's no way that this is going to measure all of Qi because Qi is all of the energy of life. Heat is just one component of it. And uh, yeah, I thought it could be a, a fun little thing to do some experiments with to measure the heat component of Qi and particularly relating to Qigong practices. It's something that I've heard about other people doing before. I've never really had the opportunity to experiment with myself. Um, but I thought it could be a fun and interesting thing to do. I guess on a little side note, so definitely measuring heat is something that people have done before as they've tried to study qi, or at least components of qi. Um, they've also measured emission of uh, certain types of sound waves. They've measured emission of charged particles. They've measured things relating to electrical conductivity and so on. And so, so you see it's like, how do you measure qi? I, I don't know, I, other than through a sort of subjective measure, which of course is something that we do with our own senses as we do Qi Gong. Wow, that's windy. Um, as we do Qi Gong, as we, if you're doing Qi Gong healing, as you work on someone else, we have a subjective measure of Qi. Um, I don't know that it's ever going to be possible to scientifically measure Qi as a whole, but I think it's interesting if it's to measure components of Qi. Again, as another small side note, I think this is part of um, conceptually what is difficult with a lot of scientific studies around Qi and Qi Gong, is that often people will, will choose just one part of Qi. And, and I think it's fine if, you're if you recognize you're just one, measuring one part of Qi. But they'll choose one part of Qi and say, this is Qi. And, and that's what they'll measure, and, and they'll wonder why they can't get consistent results, because they're not, they're not really, you know, they're not really measuring the whole, the whole concept of Qi. They're focusing on one thing, and, and it, yeah, it's hard to have that consistency across studies and so on. But if you recognize you're just re measuring one component, and your focus is on one component, it's going to have a lot more uh, relevance, it's going to be a lot more meaningful, I think, in a lot of ways. Um, anyway. Carrying on, I'm going to look inside the box. This is pretty cool. See the unseen. <laughs> that relates a lot to Chi.
so it looks like we basically have this is the camera itself it's a tiny little thing and you plug it into the bottom of a smartphone and run it off that and then we have a little little safety case for it so it won't get bumped and knocked when you're carrying it around and then an instruction manual so I think the next stage of this vlog is going to take a little while while I figure out how to use this thing Okay, so after just a few minutes of uh, watching tutorials and things like that, I have the camera working. It's showing me all sorts of fancy colors. Now, let's... I'm going to try setting this up so you can see it better. Okay, so you can see, uh, looking at this, so you can see that's not two... Ch well, that's two chairs, right? And look how much warmer the one on the right is. That's the one that I've been sitting on. And you can tell that with the colors. And quite interesting, it's not so marked, but that the box is warmer than the rest of the chair. And we get this nice colorful display of it all. So in practical terms, one of the things this sort of camera is often used for is um, like in buildings. And you see that line there, I'm looking up uh, at the top of this glass door and you can see where heat is coming in and out of the building. Um, and look, there's me. There's heat map me and then there's, well it's not actually me, it's just reflection of me in the glass. Yeah, and so you can see the glass is relatively cold and then when we get to the timber, it's warmer. That's not showing up so well. Now the interesting little feature, you can see there's actually a temperature readout in the middle and you can get actual temperature readings off this as well. I guess as another side note, um, because I do talk about this in a, in a few of the different courses uh, that I run on Long White Cloud Qigong, um, this idea of those colours, like you could see the actual, or the picture of the actual chair and then the heat camera um, image of the actual chair next to each other and they looked very different one was all super bright and colorful but if you looked at the actual chair it didn't look that way um, and this I, I, I use sometimes as a good analogy for the way we perceive or represent things to ourselves sometimes when we're doing qigong the information is there there's real information that heat camera image is picking up real information about the heat but it's not actually visually what we see, but it converts it into this colorful image as a way so that we can, um, we can understand it and, and use that visual representation as, as a way that we can then work with that information. We do the same thing in Qigong often. We talk about, we use uh, things to represent what we're actually experiencing. And particularly when we use visual representation, sometimes people find it, uh, frustrating or, or, or they don't understand that it's they're not necessarily going to physically see it but there's still an internal representation of real information real things that are happening so anyway little side note so is this little device going to actually be a useful tool I don't really know um, it, it'll be fun to experiment with uh, and see um, at the very least, I think it'll it'll make some interesting images. Um, so that's something I will, when I have time, I will have a have a bit of a play with in the context of qigong, and well, see what images I get for a start, and then um, maybe try doing some little experiments with it as well. So I hope you enjoyed that video. First, it's a first unboxing for the Qi Life channel. Uh, but I thought maybe something a little bit fun, a little bit different, uh, sharing another facet of, of the chi life, um, trying to make small steps to reconciling Western science with what we know about living energy from Qigong. Okay, if you liked this video, um, if you found it interesting, anything like that would be great. If you could like, comment, subscribe, share it with other people, 
that would be awesome and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.